Now obviously by choosing the Volvo on-call option, you now have the possibility to add your own personal SIM card. What I want to show you in this particular piece is actually how simple this is. One thing you do need to know though is that when you go out and purchase your data SIM card from your mobile phone provider, please do bear in mind that if you are intending to travel across different countries, you need to make sure you choose the right tariff for you so you don't incur additional charges. When you want to insert the SIM card, what all you simply do is go into the glove box, remove the data SIM card holder, place in there your SIM card as you see here, and then simply insert it back in the glove box and close. What you will find is that the SIM card will automatically activate in the center stack on the display. At this point, if your SIM card has a PIN code, this is the time to put that PIN code in if requested. Now we've entered the PIN code, in order to stop us from entering this code every time we get in the car, we do two simple steps. Firstly, scroll down and click on car modem. Then you scroll down again to lock SIM card. Now, as you can see on the screen here, this is already unlocked. However, if there is a tick box in here, you simply click again and you will be asked to enter the same PIN code again. Once you've entered that PIN code, this means that you will no longer have to enter the code every time you get in the car. It is literally as simple as that.